In this video, I'm going to discuss the possible method that can be used to find the integration that involving square root functions. First of all, let me show you the overall mind map of the integration involving square root functions. From the mind map, you can see that generally there are three possible methods you can try. The first method is we can try to use the formula of the power integration because as we know that the square root when we convert to index form, it is equal to the power of 1 over 2. So, we can try to apply the power integration. Then the second possible method is we can try to use the normal substitution. That is, we use uh, any variable to substitute the square root function then the integration is done under the variable then the third possible method we can try is by using trigonometric substitution for trigonometric substitution normally is suitable when the square root involving quadratic if it is the square root of quadratic make sure the quadratic is in this form where it is square root of f of x power 2 plus or minus a power 2. If the quadratic is in ax power 2 plus bx plus c, even though this quadratic can be factorized, but normally we don't do the factorization and instead of that, we are going to do the completing the square to convert this quadratic form into this form. Once we have convert the quadratic into this form, and there are three possible options. If the quadratic is in this form where it is f of x power 2 plus a squared, then we can use the substitution f of x equals a tangent theta. If the quadratic is in the form f of x squared minus a squared, then we can use the substitution f of x equals a second theta. If the quadratic is in the form a squared minus f of x squared, then we can use the substitution f of x equals a sine theta. For this form of quadratic, we can have another option that is where we can use the formula of the integration where the integration will produce inverse sine. Now let's try this example. For this question, first we found that this is a rational function. But we also notice that the denominator of the rational function contains a square root. If any part of the integral contains square root, then we need to focus on the square root. To do the integration, the first attempt, we can try to integrate by using the formula of power integration. To use this formula, I am going to change the integral such that it follows the format of the formula, where I am going to change the square root becomes the power of 1 over 2, and then I bring it up to get power of negative 1 over 2. When I compare the integral with the formula, f of 
x is equal to x minus 2x power 2 and is equal to negative 1 over 2. To apply the formula, I should have the f prime, where f prime should be equal to 1 minus 4x. But from the question, I have 2 minus 8x. But no problem, because I can simply factorize the 2 in order to get 1 minus 4x. Now, the integral is in the form of the formula. Means, I am ready to do the integration by using this formula. So, by using the formula, after the integration, then I got f of x, which is x minus 2x power 2, n plus 1, which is negative 1 over 2 plus 1, then I get 1 over 2, divided by n plus 1, which is 1 over 2, plus c. After simplify, I got the answer like this. Next example. In this example, a small part of the integral contains a square root. But I'm not able to bring up the square root becomes power of negative 1 over 2 because there is a 2 plus over here, which means that the formula of power integration cannot be used. So, I go to the second option where I try to use the u substitution. I substitute u with the square root because my job is to cancel off the square root such that I can perform the integration without square root. To do this, all the variable x must be changed to variable u include dx. So, I can either differentiate u with respect to x or differentiate x with respect to u. But I found that differentiate x with respect to u is much easier than differentiate u with respect to x. So, I express x in terms of u before differentiate x with respect to u. Then, I got dx equals 2u du. Now, I'm ready to do the substitution. I replace the square root with u and dx is replaced with 2u du. After the substitution, it ends up as a rational integral in terms of u. To continue, we must go back to the technique of integration which involves rational integration. I have made a video specially discuss the integration of rational functions. If you haven't watched the video, you are encouraged to watch the video before you continue. When we recall back the techniques of integration of rational functions that we have learned before, I found that this is an improper rational function. So, by using long division or any other method, I try to change the improper rational function to the proper rational function. After separate the integral, the first part can be settled easily. Then, end up as another rational integral. But I found that this can be integrated easily into loan. Now, my last job is return to x term. After return to x term, then this is the final answer. Next example. When doing the integration, notice that some integration can be done by using power formula and also substitution method. 
For example, this question. To use the formula, first we need to bring up the square root becomes power of negative 1 over 2. When we compare the integral with the formula, we found that f of x is equal to 9 minus 4x power 2. And f prime should be equal to negative 8x. Here, I only have x. But no problem because negative 8 is a constant which can be add in but must be multiplied with the reciprocal of the constant. Now, I'm ready to do the integration where f of x which is 9 minus 4x power 2 with the power n plus 1 which is negative 1 over 2 plus 1 we got 1 over 2 then divided by 1 over 2 after simplify I got the answer like this for this question besides Using the power integration formula, substitution method also can be used. Since the integral contains a square root, then the square root can be substituted by a variable u. Then I differentiate u with respect to x and I rearrange the equation such that dx becomes the subject. Here, I need to express dx in terms of u. So, the square root is replaced with u. But I found that dx cannot be expressed in terms of u completely. But it doesn't matter. We just hold on for time being. Now, I try to do the substitution. The square root is replaced with u dx is replaced with negative u over 4x du notice that even though dx cannot be expressed totally in terms of u but after substitution i found that x can be cancelled off and finally the integral can be expressed in terms of u completely. Now, I'm ready to do the integration. After the integration, remember to return the final answer back in terms of x. Then, I got the answer like this. Now, let's try this question. When I try the first option, I found that the power integration formula is not suitable. Then I proceed to second option. Since there is a square root, so I try to use the u substitution. However, when I try to do the substitution, I found that the integral cannot be expressed in terms of u completely. This means that u substitution is not the suitable method. In this case, we need to use some other method. If we go back to the mind map, the third option we can try the trigonometric substitution. Since the square root is in the form a power 2 minus fx power 2, then the substitution f of x equals a sine theta can be used. When we compare with the square root, f of x is equal to 2x and a is equal to 3. So 2x equals 3 sine theta means x is equal to 3 over 2 sine theta. Then I differentiate x with respect to theta and I got 3 over 2 cos theta d theta. Now I'm ready to do the substitution. I replace 2x with 3 sine theta 
x is replaced with 3 over 2 sine theta, so x power 2 is 9 over 4 sine power 2 theta. And dx is replaced with 3 over 2 cos theta d theta. Then 3 sine theta power 2 is equal to 9 sine power 2 theta. And when I factorize the 9, I got 9 times 1 minus sine power 2 theta. 1 minus sine power 2 theta is equal to cos power 2 theta. So square root of 9 cos power 2 theta is equal to 3 cos theta. So at the end, end up with cot power 2 theta. By using the trigonometric identity, cot power 2 theta is equal to cos x squared theta minus 1. Now, I'm ready to do the integration. After the integration, I got 2 times negative cot theta minus theta plus c. Next, don't forget to convert back to term x. Since we know that 2x is equal to 3 sine theta, then sine theta is 2x over 3. By using the Pythagoras theorem, tangent theta is equal to 2x over square root of 9 minus 4x squared. Then, cot theta is equal to square root of 9 minus 4x squared divided by 2x. So now I replace cot theta with square root of 9 minus 4x power 2 divided by 2x and theta is replaced back with inverse sine 2x over 3. So after simplifying, I got the answer like this. Next example, let's uh, integrate this. For this question, the first option where the formula is not suitable to be used. The second option, since there is a square root, so I try to substitute the square root with u. I differentiate u with respect to x, even though dx cannot be completely converted to u term, we still try to continue. Now, I try to do the substitution. I replace the square root with u, and dx is replaced with u over 4x du. After simplify, I got 4x squared. And notice that 4x squared can be replaced with u squared plus 9. Now, the integral is converted from term x to term u completely and end up as a rational integral. To continue, I need to choose the suitable method to integrate the rational function. Since it is an improper rational function, then I'm going to use long division or other suitable method to change the improper rational becomes proper rational function. Integrate 1 with respect to u is equal to u. Now my job is to integrate another rational integral here. If you watch my video about the integration of rational functions, this integral can be solved by using formula given here. According to the formula, if the numerator is the derivative of fx here, and a is a constant, then the integration is this. When we compare the formula with the question, the numerator is 1, which is the derivative of u. Therefore, the formula is suitable to be used. By using the formula, the integration of this integral is 1 over 3, where 3 is equal to a and multiply with arctangent u over 3 where fx is equal to u. After the integration, we need to convert term u back to term x. Then finally, this is the answer.
Besides square root substitution, this question also can be integrated by using trigonometric substitution. Since the square root is in the form f of x squared minus a squared, then the substitution fx equals a second theta can be used. When we compare the square root with the formula, f of x is 2x and a is 3. Then x is equal to 3 over 2 second theta. I differentiate x with respect to theta. Then I got 3 over 2 second theta tangent theta d theta. Now I'm ready to do the substitution. I replace 2x with 3 second theta dx is replaced with 3 over 2 second theta tangent theta d theta and x is replaced with 3 over 2 second theta then 3 second theta power 2 is 9 second squared theta then when i factorize 9 i got second squared theta minus 1 second squared minus 1 is equal to tangent theta so square root of 9 tangent theta then I got 3 tangent theta. Then at the end, I got tangent squared theta. By using the trigonometric identity, tangent squared theta is equal to second squared theta minus 1. Now I'm ready to do the integration. After the integration, I got 3 times tangent theta minus theta plus c. Now, I need to convert the term theta back to term x. From the substitution, 2x is equal to 2 second theta. Then, second theta is 2x over 3. And second theta is 1 over cos. So, cos is 3 over 2x. From the Pythagoras theorem, so therefore, I got tangent is equal to square root of 4x squared minus 9 over 3. So therefore, tangent can be replaced back with this. And theta is arctangent of square root of 4x squared minus 9 over 3. So finally, I got the final answer here. Next, let's try this question. For this question, the first and second option is not suitable. Then I proceed to the third option, which is trigonometric substitution. Since the square root is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, then I need to perform completing the square. After completing the square, I got something like this. Since the square root is in the form a squared minus fx, power 2, then the substitution f of x equals a sine theta can be used. When I compare the square root, f of x is x plus 1 and a is equal to 2. So means x plus 1 is equal to 2 sine theta. Now I differentiate x with respect to theta. Then I got dx equals 2 cos theta d theta. Now I'm ready to do the substitution. I replace x plus 1 with 2 sine theta. dx is replaced with 2 cos theta d theta. 2 sine theta power 2 is equal to 4 sine power 2 theta. Then when I factorize 4, I got 1 minus sine squared theta. 1 minus sine squared theta is equal to cos squared theta. So square root of 4 cos theta is equal to 2 cos theta now end up as 1 then after integrate i got theta don't forget to convert the term back to x since from the substitution we know that sine theta is x plus 1 over 2 so theta is equal to x sine x plus 1 over 2 so finally i got the answer here This question actually can be solved by using formula which produce inverse sine. 
According to the formula, if the square root is in the form a squared minus f of x squared and the numerator is the derivative of f of x, then the integration is an inverse sign. When we look at the question, the square root is in the form a power 2 minus f of x squared. And the numerator is the derivative of x plus 1, which is equal to 1. Then the integration is an inverse sign of f of x over a, where f of x is equal to x plus 1, and a is equal to 2. Next example. For this question, the formula of power integration and u substitution cannot be used. Since in this question, the square root is in the form of a squared plus f of x squared, then the substitution f of x equals a tangent theta can be used. When comparing the square root, f of x is equal to 2x and a is 3. So, f of x equals a tangent theta is 2x equals 3 tangent theta. Then, after differentiate x with respect to theta, dx is equal to 3 over 2 sec power 2 theta d theta. Now, I'm going to do the substitution. I substitute 2x with 3 tangent theta. d theta is replaced with 3 over 2 sec power 2 theta d theta. And 3 tangent theta power 2 is equal to 9 tangent squared theta. So when I factorize the 9, I got 9 times 1 plus tangent squared theta. And 1 plus tangent squared theta is equal to sec squared theta. So, square root of 9 sec squared theta is equal to 3 sec theta. Then at the end, I got sec theta. By using the formula of integration of sec, then at the end, I got the answer here. Next, I need to convert the theta back to x. As we know that tangent theta is 2x over 3, so by using the Pythagoras theorem, cos is equal to 3 over square root of 9 plus 4x squared. Since sec theta is equal to 1 over cos, so sec theta is equal to square root of 9 plus 4x power 2 over 3. So now I'm going to replace the sec theta and tangent theta back to term x. Under the law of logarithm, the right can be changed to minus. And we know that a group of constant is equal to an arbitrary constant. So I use a to represent the arbitrary constant, where a is equal to negative 1 over 2 ln 3 plus c. So finally, this is the answer. Next example. For this question, both power integration formula and u substitution are not suitable. From what we know, if the square root is in the form a squared minus f of x squared, then the substitution f of x equals a sine theta can be used. But in this question, the square root is h minus x power 3. So before using the substitution, x power 3 should be changed to the form f of x power 2 and 8 should be changed to a power 2. So therefore, I'm going to change 8 becomes square root of 8 power 2 and x power 3, I'm going to change to x power 3 over 2 squared. So the substitution becomes x power 3 over 2 equals square root of 8 sine theta. When I square the both sides, I got x power 3 equals 8 sine squared theta. 
So after differentiate x with respect to theta, then I got dx equals this. Even though dx cannot be expressed in terms of theta completely, but now I still continue to do the substitution. Now I substitute x power 3 with 8 sine squared theta. dx is replaced with this. And when I factorize the 8, I got 1 minus sine squared theta. 1 minus sine squared theta is equal to cos squared theta. So therefore, square root of 8 cos squared theta is square root of 8 cos theta. Square root of x divided by x power 2 is equal to x power 3 over 2. And x power 3 over 2 is equal to square root of 8 sine theta. So after simplify, now end up with 1. So the integration is equal to 2 over 3 theta plus c. Next, I'm going to return back to term x. As we know that x power 3 over 2 is equal to square root of 8 sine theta. So sine theta is equal to this. So therefore, theta is equal to inverse sine of square root of x over 2 power 3. So this is the answer.